Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Piers. Uh, uh, heads uh, and staff, uh, thank you uh, for um, inviting me over. Now, um, <coughs> I want to say that for any uh, country to grow and develop, we need thinkers, eh? people, and the thinkers, you will not find a large proportion of thinkers in any country or any organization or any community. It will be just, you know, two or three percent. These are the people who will push the frontier. In every, <coughs> every organization, these thinkers will be constantly interrogating the business processes, how we do things, so that we can really service or serve the clientele in much better way, or efficiently, and also achieve our um, you know, the collective vision very quickly. With, with minimum resources. Now, so every day, every week, every month, we need to continuously interrogate and think whether we can do better. Because the <coughs> entire um, DMUs, decision-making units, needs to be dynamic. You, you, you can't have static DMUs. So this uh, the website that we are launching today is arising out of the thinkers who are saying, look, at that particular point in time, the website was done by a group of people who thought that that particular website was relevant for that particular point in time. Things change over time. We need to continuously think and how we could improve, build on. And today we have got an improved website taking into account contemporary issues in the society how IT plays, how do people, learners, information seekers, <coughs> and their models of and I note that all those, the changes in the contemporary uh, environment with respect to our clientele, who you, you segment your users, the farmers, those days farmers did not have mobile phones or you know, IT or data. Now data is the thing, and I recall when I was in Commerce, became co chair of Commerce Commission, we were setting interconnection rates uh, between the two mobile operators and landline. And that point in time, uh, uh, the DG cell CEO said to me, Minister, uh, no, not sorry, not I was not Minister then, I was Chairman. He said, Chairman, I want to tell you, we're doing this interconnection rate, but the bigger thing for uh, uh, ahead would be data. Is that even though you're dealing with interconnection rate, but it'll be voice over IP going forward, yeah, voice over internet protocols, yes. you know, you know, yes. Viva, you know, Viva What's calls, that? data. That's the bigger thing, you know, and eventually, uh, interconnection rate may not matter uh, that much w if <coughs> voice over IP really takes over. And secondly, uh, if we market share is same between, you know, operators, when the, at the moment we've got DigiCell around 20% and 80% uh, Vodafone, uh, then interconnection rates matter. You know? so, so that's a different, I don't want to go into that too much. So what I'm saying is that uh, uh, this, uh, this launching today is has taken into account uh, a number of uh, features of uh, client and um, uh, service provider. Uh, I note that you have your interactive, interactive chat option, you have a comprehensive media gallery, you now are uh, looking at how you would um, you know, uh, ensure that whoever comes uh, will get to see our legislation, what empowers us to do what we are supposed to do. Career options, you know, resources. Uh, there'll be researchers. I know when I was in uni, I used to go to home pages and uh, websites and look for information, annual reports, uh, our uh, research documents, you know, about varieties. Uh, so these are varieties and breeds. So uh, I do hope that we will have uh, resources there. Now do we, have, we have a resources icon there. And, uh, and then also I note that, you know, uh, we have got back in excess, and I, I believe, as um, uh, Raimondo has said, that it will be gradually opened up to us. Of course, we need to demonstrate uh, our capability, responsibility, and, uh, and to show that we will not be um, you know, uh, undermining or um, affecting anyway government's you know, uh, vision in terms of what information 
needs to be put in what way and the content itself. So once we are able to demonstrate that, I think more and more uh, leeway and more and more power will be given to us to uh, look after the website. So I want to uh, thank Shivanita, Ms. Shivanita Dutt, for working with our team and uh, making this happen. And as I said, that again, uh, uh, this is a dynamic uh, website. It must continue evolve over time, looking into taking into account contemporary issues, uh, changes in the market, changes in terms of uh, uh, developing in terms of uh, IT and uh, how uh, our people are able to get able to access. Now, any IT development should not exclude people. Uh, make sure uh, we need to ensure the, that it, it should not lead to exclusion of our clients or users. Eh? So uh, it's, it is our website. It is for the people, for the client, and I do hope that you know we will uh, uh, make best use of it in terms of also uh, quick information dissemination. Thank you. My pleasure to officially launch this. Thank you.